The company building Nottingham's tram extension says delays to the project have contributed to losses of £165 million in one of its key divisions. The company, Vinci, says complex financial negotiations will have to be held with the client. Well, that client, of course, is Nottingham City Council, and it's promised today that the public purse won't take a hit. Meanwhile, remedial work on the project is still being carried out, as Mike O'Sullivan reports. Delays on Nottingham's tram extension, now seven months late, has led to losses of £165 million in the civil engineering division of the construction giant Vinci. Filing the company's accounts for 2014, the chairman said, Unfortunately, the project has encountered major issues, leading to a substantial loss in 2014 in the civils division. Remedial work is now being carried out here in the centre of Nottingham. What they're looking at is the area around this sort of resin material right by the tracks. They're digging out around it, but it's not yet clear just how much of this material they're going to have to remove. The local news agent thought the tram work in her area was all over two months ago. Uh, the worst thing is like we are not uh, entitled to any compensation because they say we are not like in the catchment area of the work, you know. So we're just uh, struggling along, you know. Testing's been cancelled on the line up to Chilwell. It's giving the tram team the chance to complete fencing and other work that will help to screen off gardens from the tram. The ground in here should have been cleared um, and then replaced by topsoil before the panelling was put on the fence. But as you can see, they decided they're going to try and do it the other way around. There's no opening date yet, but the City Council says the public purse won't be hit. The Council doesn't receive penalty payments for the delayed opening. But it says Tramlink Nottingham, which operates and develops the tram system, won't receive performance payments until the whole thing is open to the public. Mike O'Sullivan, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham.